Hello and welcome. My name is Stranky and thank you for joining me. This is my first video. Um, yeah, and I thought I'd start off with Prison Architect um, Alpha 35. It's a new alpha out and um, well, it's not so new now. It's been out for a couple of weeks and obviously they're going to release another alpha um, in a couple of weeks because once a month they, they they release an alpha um, and well I haven't played Prison Architect now for a couple of months well more than a couple for about four months so I have to get back into it and I thought what better time to start this whole YouTube thing than with Prison Architect so um, I'm just gonna set up a prison we'll start off small I'm gonna keep fog of war on I wanna generate everything I want faded conditions and I gotta try out the gangs. Now they say that gangs ruin your prison. I'm pretty sure they do. Um but I, obviously I wanna try it out. So what happens happens, you know, if we have to start again we have to start again. I'm not gonna have unlimited funds, because what's fun in that? So I mean obviously some people would want to use unlimited funds, but the challenge is not to go bankrupt, isn't it? So yeah. Um Hope you join me for the next 10 minutes. Let's see what we generate. We'll start planning this episode. Start the first few things. Obviously, we're not going to get much done. I'll be doing 10 minute episodes for now. So, yeah, maybe then I'll move up to 20 minutes or something like that. But for now, 10 minutes. Just to sort of introduce myself to the whole thing. Hope you support me. Um, yeah, let's start. So, we'll play. And it'll eventually load. Here we go. So what have we got? Let's see around the map. Okay, so lakes are on the other side of the road. And um, we've got some buildings up. Okay. Um, I had tried just to generate a map before I started this one. And it was quite interesting. There was a lake over this side. And uh, there was buildings inside the lake. It was pretty nice but um, that was just a trial so obviously I've lost that now I didn't record it um, but yeah this this could work out nicely when we expand see what happens over here so uh, yeah let's start planning out what we want to do I want to put the exports I'm gonna put it right next to the garbage for now and I always start off making like an air block with the road gates there and there yeah I hope that's okay now last time I played these were free but now they're not no I don't think I can do the gate the fence there but we'll do it up to there can I build along the road I could build along the side of the road, but I don't think people do. People will be running out there. I mean, we'll see how that goes. Build this up to here. Build this up to here. And we'll bring this down there. So we've got ourselves like a little airlock to get into the prison. Uh, or rather stop people from getting out and then we can see what we'll do with this area over here uh, we'll start planning so what I want to do before I forget I want to put a jail door and then we see where we're going to start planning this out so alright so let's see what we've got So we've got buildings. So if we, yeah, I'm not, I thought it was building for a sec. So let's say we use their their walls. It should cut down on costs, and it should make for an interesting layout. So bring it up. 
there. And then we'll have to see what these can be. We'll bring this up and over. If uh, cancel that. Bring that down like that. Yeah, okay. So we've got a bit of an interesting shaped building like that. Um, obviously I have to work out what is going to go where, but that's what makes it interesting. What I find makes it interesting using the pre-generated buildings is you can sort of incorporate them into your own structure and you won't be tied down to doing the same sort of design every time. And you can come up with new designs and uh, sort of keep it fresh. So we want to put a couple of walls down. Like so, which would probably be fences. So, now what do we want to do? We want to get some grants. So the grants. So we get basic detention centre and administration centre. We'll start off from those. And then obviously we'll work our way down the rest of the, the grants here. Um, I'm not running a modded version of the game should be pretty much vanilla so there shouldn't be any of the extra grants hanging around I usually play with a lot more grants but let's keep it for now anyway we'll keep it as it's meant to be and we'll see what we manage to do so what I want to do as well is close all the intake for now so we're gonna have that built so let's start off so we're gonna do more fence here did that go? I have to check that now we'll do a fence like that now we can start the foundations so that looks like bricks so how do we want to do that let's do it like that do it like that it shouldn't really I guess they use what there is. And there we go, using up all the money. We'll have a nice, a nice block set like that, and then we'll see. Okay, then we'll, they might knock down some of these walls. So let's see. Maybe we'll get some money back, and then we can. Uh, Okay, let's unpause it. Yeah, she ran them fast now. And there's a drop in the frame rate. As usual. It's got a lot better though, I have to say, since they've been fixing these bugs. Uh, it used to run much, much slower, especially once you get a lot of inmates. Um, it's running much better now. Obviously, I haven't really tried out this version. So, it's hard to tell, but from when, let's say, when I started playing like Prison Architect was around Alpha 12, didn't get into it at the start, only found out about it then, yeah, um, yeah, but it's got tremendously smoother, and they've added a lot of stuff, so, it, you know they've done a really good job I mean it's starting to really feel like a complete game now and now it's still an alpha I remember before people used to complain about it all the time so yeah we're running out of time so thank you very much for watching I'll be doing another video soon see ya